Hello, my convicts and convict heads, Chester Design, I'm convict, and as you can see, we're gonna jump into a small war zone. I was gonna do Apex Legends, but I'm a little bit busy at the moment, and it's just kind of got in the way of me being able to do it. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to. But I did do a solo gameplay, I did pre record it, I really wanted to show this as well because I did actually do. Oh, I felt I did pretty well, so here we go, let's get on. So, Rio is here with me, so you may hear him in the background, but I'm uh, just gonna try and get through this as much as possible so here we go yeah so first of all it's like obviously this is a solo solos is a little bit slower and you've got to be careful now i didn't actually know i've got a another armor piece there i could have probably used even though it's blinking at me i wish it was a little bit i don't know more seeable but then again i should probably just look there more often so i don't know but we've got a pretty decent gun we've got the baddie there's an LMG, so I was just trying to figure out where this guy is. He's come in here to come and get me. I was like, oh, okay. He's come in. So I knew just the way. Yeah, either it was going to jump through the window or it was going to come through the door. One of the two. And I heard the window break. As you can see, and there we go. Took him out the swiftness. Just go and take his stuff. And then obviously pick up the next SMG, which is a legend legendary. So I've got two legendaries now. Now at this point, I knew obviously I picked up a shield, but obviously I had one at the beginning of the game. I'm just completely blind. So now it's just trying to guess where people are going to be at. So you'll notice with my ADS when I'm ADSing, especially on this, I ADS a lot faster. I'm having to do that in Warzone because of the time to kill and everything. It's just crazy how easy people can get killed in this game. And you've always got to have at least three level armor. Otherwise you're going to end up getting killed easy by someone who's got level three. I really think that should change that and make it so that damage affects your health as well as armor. And kind of lower it so that you don't need to have at least three pieces. Maybe have two pre two pieces to win a fight not three because it seems like you've always got to have three otherwise you're always going to lose that fight no matter what so just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next pick up all my stuff grab as much cash as I can and just keep on going right so about that so yeah, just coming in now to the next area. Can hear a chest. Just looking out for chests. Keep moving. Keep an eye out for anybody or any sounds at all because people hide so bad in this game. It's in insane how campy people get. So you got to check out every orifice. And as you can see here, aiming upstairs because people do lay down at the top of the stairs waiting for you. I'm just trying to figure out where the chest is. And there we go. And I noted we've got the zip tie. The zip tie is pretty decent. There is one here as well. I just heard them come in. As you can tell, I'm like, okay, someone is here. Let me just figure out if they're above or are they below. And there you go. And as you can see, I died. I Please don't know how I died. Tell me how. I beat him. And there you go. I had full armor and I didn't miss. So there you go, that's what I think of the game so far. I don't know how I lost that fight, I didn't. I shouldn't have lost that fight. But that's how Warzone's been making me feel. I was going to edit that out, but no, I'm going to leave it in. Just, that is how much Warzone <laughs> riles me up sometimes, especially in certain situations where I feel like I did win. It's like, how did I lose a the fight there? I had perfect advantage, I was aimed, I saw him in the stairs, I shot him before he fired at me and ultimately he wins. Why? Because of his submachine gun apparently. There we go. So I'm not a big fan of using the R9 either. This is not a gun I enjoy using but I wanted to try some out. People say if you crouch you lose but I actually want to try out and see if it does make you lose. So there you go. Apparently you don't. Because a lot of people are saying if you crouch in the gulag you're going to lose. But it's not really the case. I think if anything it makes you a harder target to hit. So 
So dropping down again, now without a gun, thinking, crap, I am in so much trouble. Now there is an auto deploy for parachute. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't open, but it should open before you hit the floor. Now I was a bit worried that I was going to splat on the floor there, so I had to pull my parachute myself. But it should deploy the parachute before you hit the ground. Auto, which it is set to auto on the, on the game, so I don't know why. Answers on postcard. So again with the LMG. And I heard someone come in, it's like, okay, someone's here. So I've only got two body armor pieces, so like, you're not killing me. No way, boy. Not this time. And he's got a pretty decent weapon, and he's got a heartbeat sensor as well. So just getting ready. As you can tell by the heartbeat sensor, someone else is picking up by the heartbeat sensor. So like, okay, there's someone else here. It's like, right, it's got to be that building over there, I think. And as it is, as you can tell, I'm taking damage like crap. Like, okay. I'm like, right, what do I want to do here? Do I want to keep this LMG or not? And then I heard him coming. It's like, okay, someone is coming. I'm sure he is. And then he threw a bomb up top. I threw a bomb below. It's like, okay. Just checking where he is. He's like, where is he? And I noticed it does ping here. As you can see, so he's like, right outside. So I thought, I'm just going to YOLO it and jump out and kill him. But it wasn't there. And then all of a sudden he is. But luckily the Piercer SMG is actually pretty decent for hip fire. So I managed to outbeat him. So now I've got a nice choosing of weapons here. I did pick up the same weapon again. But uh, I do try to obviously see if anything could have done differently at times with weapons. Because... That weapon should be pretty decent. It's a legendary SMG. So why I, I lost that previous fight, I don't know. I'm just double checking no one's here so I can quickly grab some stuff. As you can see, I want the loadout drop. I should have just gone up and then it would have been at the bottom. But just throwing my loadout in. Now, I want to show you something here. I actually use a weapon that Skump has set up for an MP7. And I wanted to try it out because Skump said it's a pretty good one and obviously being a part, or used to being part of Optic Gaming, Skumpy is obviously a boss of the game, or a boss at most games. So I wanted to try out his version of the MP7. I will write down the description below what attachments he's got on his MP7, so if you want to try it on here, you can try it yourself. So just go back upstairs now. I'm just going to check if there is anyone nearby with the MP7. This is solo, so I have to be a bit careful and a bit weary. And then I thought, hang on, there might be some mongo in this way, because obviously there's a loadout drop here, and people run to loadout drops, so let me quickly get over here as quick as possible, and maybe I might find someone. Then we can test out this MP7. So, just trying to move on now and see what we can do here. And I did eventually pick up someone on there. It's like, okay, so there is someone here. Like, where is he gone? Because he was here a moment ago. And I thought, maybe he's got the loadout. Because obviously with ghosts, you lose it. But look how accurate that shoots. That is insane. The MP7 is insane. I was like, wow, I just lasered that guy with an MP7 of all guns. I didn't expect that to happen, to be honest. So just moving around, trying to do the best I can with what I've got. So I just want to look around see if we can find anyone. Just being a bit wary, obviously. I don't want to just run and grab stuff from the loadout drop and get killed here. But I wanted to take both my weapons, so I picked that one up. Then pick up the MP7. Now I've got a fully decked two weapons, M5-1 and MP7. So we should be pretty golden. Just 
They're just checking everything out on the heartbeat sensor. So just trying to look for more people. See what we can do. Checking around for anyone. So just have a look. See what we can do. Checking out everywhere. <laughs> it's like, can I get some money out of the cash machine? Wouldn't that be weird if you could go to cash machines and get money out of it? Or deposit money so that if you you die, they don't steal your money and then you can get back from the bank. That'd be an interesting kind of change. So like, ooh, stopping car rounds. Like, okay, well, uh, slap that on the MP7. Which I'll do in a moment. There you go. <laughs> Pick up the trophy system. So now I'm being hunted, as you can see here. Someone's hunting me. I was like, oh, great. So now I've got to be careful because someone's going to be chasing me in a moment. Now watch this. This is really weird. Someone comes to the building, as you can hear them. I was like, okay, there's someone here. And at first I thought maybe he might have been coming up the ladders, but you can't see him there. As you can see, as I look down. So I thought, right, he's coming upstairs. So look what I do here, and look what happens. This is so weird. So I put C4 in front of the, the claymore, claymore in front of the door, thinking as soon as he opens the door, runs through, boom, he's going to explode, and that'll be it. Watch this. And then at first I was kind of, I as I stood over it, I kind of half thought, Oh my god, maybe he used Spotter and he changed it to his. Because you can hack stuff through walls. But how did he walk straight through my claymore? And you can see, I'm like, what? I'm like, well, I'll pick it back up then. I thought maybe it might have been his. That's why I was being a bit anxious as I went towards it. But how the hell did he just run through my claymore? I'm kind of glad it did that, in a way. Because it means that... Claymores can't just cheat you and be stuck around or that, but I obviously thought it would kill him and he just runs directly through my claymore. I don't understand how. So now I've got a thermal gun which is why I picked up the other gun. I was going to keep my MP7, uh, not MP7, sorry, the M4A1, but I decided to swap it out for a gun because it had thermal on it, I was like, oh, I'll keep that. Maybe the thermal might come in use. I've never used thermal before, so you'll notice when I do start to use it, when I'm up high, it's weird. I'm not quite used to how the sight looks. So that's something I need to practice with it with. So just trying to figure out what to do next. So just trying to figure out what is happening next. Who do I need to kill next? Okay. Well, we can take that, maybe, and obviously do a scavenger, because it'll help me get more money. Even though I have got, what, 12,700, I think it is. My screen, obviously, when I'm doing the encoding for this, is much smaller, so it's harder to see. Let's pick up more money along the way. Like, oh, ah, hang on, we've just noticed someone, and then this guy noticed me. He's like, oh god, okay. So I need to fully body armor back up. Because one thing I've noticed is if you don't have full body armor, you're going to really struggle. And I noticed him here. I'm like, okay, I need to body armor again, because this guy, I don't know what he's got, but damn. So, no more shields left. Get a quick reload. And there we go. Managed to kill him, eventually. Right, so, we're just running along. We've killed that guy now. I just need some more body armor. 
because uh, if I go in against anyone with two or three body armor, that's it, I'm screwed. But I really do feel they need to nerf body armor a little bit in this game and make it so that bullets do penetrate and damage your health as well as the body armor. Maybe it does, but I don't think it does it enough. I just feel that no one with three plates should really outbeat everybody because it's really difficult to win fights uh, sometimes. So I noticed this guy's on his own over here, so I'm like, okay, well, go get this guy first. And uh, and then see, I was just checking that guy behind me wasn't coming towards me as well. It's because he's quite close. I'm just trying to figure out where this guy is here. This is why a lot of people use ghosts, because obviously people can see you really, really easy like this. So I'm just trying to figure out where he's going, and there we go. And uh, he sounded a bit angry. Banging some it down, it's like <laughs> just unfortunate. I did have UAV, so I, I thought, hey, we can buy another one. <laughs> and I thought, while I'm running, obviously, I want to be able to see people. So there's this guy here in this building. I was like, right, let's go get him because we're actually doing pretty well. We've got what eight kills now. And now I'm all about the kills. So I'm like, right, where is it then? Is it above or below? I don't know. And I was like, right, I need to go this way around the building. Because if I go and he's on the roof and looks down at me, I'm going to be so screwed here. I'm like, I don't know where he is, so I'm just trying to figure out where he is. And if he'd got the UAV, I'd be definitely screwed. But luckily, I have got Ghost on this, on this so he shouldn't be able to see me anyway. There we go. Get rid of that bird dude. Goodbye, brother. And that's time to go. So just using Harpy Sense now just to try and help me out a bit here. Got nine kills. And I was like, yes, I could actually win. If I win this game, it's going to be insane. So I'm just trying to figure out where people are right now. Just use my heartbeat sensor just a little bit. Do be careful with heartbeat sensors because there is a bit of a transition between using your heartbeat sensor to putting it away before you can actually shoot it again. So I'm like, right, there is a guy here. And I'm like, I don't know where he is. Maybe he's gone upstairs. I'm like, I don't know. But I come out the door here. And as I run across, I notice it does run over there in the background where the gas is. In a moment, I just notice him there. Is that okay? So the guy's here. Let's chase him and see if we can kill him. All right, let's pick up that armor plate because we need that. I was like, where did he go? I'm like, well, this window's broken. Did he come in here? I'm like, well, don't use a window. Let's use the same thing he used. Then at least, and there you go. At least I know where he is. So I'm like, well, where's he going? Then? And I didn't actually know there's a window up here, but I'm stood right next to it thinking, is he n near the bin? It's like, no, he's not. He's, he's actually in the window. So, trying to be careful coming up, obviously to not get caught. And then I thought, right, it must be upstairs. Surely he's gone to the rooftop. And with the zone coming in, I thought, well, I'm going to have to be quick here. Now, I kept not realizing how far up I needed to be. So, as you can see, I keep going around, kind of missing where I'm supposed to be going and then going to the stairs to find them and then eventually it's like right just keep going this way and I should be alright and then I'm like oh where <laughs> and then okay I'm on the rooftop I'm still stuck in the loop of going upstairs like jeez how many stairs do you need so this time I was like right I'm just gonna go for the rooftop I don't know if he's come up here so I need to just double check I'm like nope he's not here and then just look out now for people. Use the thermal scope and kind of get an idea what it looks like. I was like, okay, so this is how it looks. All like, right, um, I just need to figure out where people are at now, and then hopefully we can get some kills in. Gas is moving in. You 
So I noticed that guy, I was like, is he actually dead or, or what? Because obviously if they're dead, they shouldn't have any heat. They should be stone cold dead. But, yeah. <laughs> so I'll throw a trophy system out just in case someone throws a bomb up here. Because I don't know if anyone could be above me. And uh, you never know. And there we go. So I'm going to do my outro here and then we'll see how we go. So hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. And you can be one of Kappa's convicts or a convict head for ladies. And there you go, another dude. Out he goes. And yes, the designer Kappa Convict signing out. And as always, I salute you my convicts and convict heads. And I'll see you soon in a new gameplay. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Pick up a grass mask. And then they got shot in the back, it's like, crap, no, don't kill me. Like, hold on. And unfortunately, in a moment, you'll hear two sets of feet. And then we'll see what happens. Can we win? Can we get out of this? So here's the guy coming from behind me, who distracted me a little bit. And there we go. Unfortunately, I died. And he died instantly afterwards. To the, the Admiral. The Admiral. But there we go. Hopefully enjoy it, like I said. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And there we have it. The end of the game. I came 10th. I tried my best. Solos all by myself. Had I not had that guy behind me, maybe I would have won. Who knows? But like I said, subscribe and like. And yeah, first time ever swearing in any of my videos. But I really wanted just to show you how this game sometimes can infuriate you at the best of times. Anyway. This is the Cup Convict signing out and bye for now.